everybody, I'm Andrew from the Flutter team, and we just wrapped the first of our Flutter Flight Pans live streams, where we showcase the latest release of Dart and Flutter. All the content from that live stream is available on our YouTube channel, so if you miss the show, there's no better time to dive in. If you love a good recap, though, I'm here to show you some of our favorite moments. First up, the folks from Notebook LM shared their experience of going from an idea to an app that was featured on the App Store in just a few months by building with Flutter. Flutter. Okay, wait, let's dig into that. Flutter enabled us to build a really beautiful and seamless experience for our users for both Android and iOS. Building a highly successful mobile app from scratch would not have been possible without Flutter. Next up, Craig dropped by to share news from the Flutter 3.38 and Dart 3.10 release, starting with a highly requested language feature, Dot Shorthands. With Dot Shorthands, you can access static properties off of known types called context types without restating the name of that type. Craig also shared updates on improvements to Flutter's dev cycle for the web. First is a stronger, more robust way to configure your web server when running Flutter Run D, Web Server, or D Chrome. Most of these options were already available via command line flags, but now you can define a web dev config.yaml file and specify consistent ports, paths to certs for HTTPS testing, custom headers the development server should include in its responses, or even URL rewrites. And he had the latest on the framework team's decoupling of Material and Cupertino. Beyond that, the effort forces valuable refactors that move more logic into the raw widgets layer, which helps anyone working on a design language in Flutter. Next up, John shared how the Flutter team is working to make sure developers who partner with AI had the tools they need. With the new Flutter extension for Gemini CLI, his agent interpreted UI mocks, made code changes, and even triggered Flutter tools like Hot Reload. Let's take a look. Gemini updates the Dart source code based on the images using its multimodal features. And when it's done, the extension knows to Hot Reload the app. Nice. Khan showed off the new Flutter AI Playground app, a demo of how Flutter and Firebase can power user experiences that really weren't possible just a couple years ago. If you want to test out Gemini features in a Flutter app like real-time bi-directional streaming with Live API or image editing with Nano Banana, we just launched the Flutter AI Playground app where you can test out those features and a few others right in your browser. Khan also described how you can clone the project and deploy to Firebase hosting in just a couple clicks. There's a link in the description where you can spin up and deploy the Flutter AI Playground app to Firebase hosting in about two clicks, assuming you're already logged into Firebase. Plus, she even shared a quick tip for keeping costs down when you're getting started. The Gemini Developer API gives you the option to get started at no cost. So I usually recommend going with that one. Just when you thought the stream was done, I showed up to talk about a new package from the Flutter team that gives agents the power to create their own widgets rather than responding purely with text. We just did a leg day, so maybe back and shoulders. And there's our new catalog item, created by the agent for us. And how to use the widgets you already know and love to keep things looking fresh. Finally, we threw in a little fun and games. It's an app that uses an agent to solve crossword puzzles. You take pictures of the grid and the clues, and Gemini works step-by-step -step to figure out the answers and fill in the crossword. We also invited these folks onto the stream to answer your questions. We have a lot more to share that'll help your ideas take flight. That's why we're doing another showcase in December. You can subscribe to this channel to be notified of that stream and all of our other videos. And we've linked a ton of great content in the description below. So have fun with your launches, and we'll see you next time.